In Maine, they're trying to push forth a bill that I think would be a really good thing. LD uh, number uh, 745. It would try to stop female genital mutilation. And uh, there's a bit of text to this. Um, but the main, the main gist of it is here. This bill makes it a class... B. Crime to perform female genital mutilation on a female person under 18 years of age for non-medical purposes. The bill also makes it a Class B crime for a parent, guardian, or person who has immediate custody of a female person under 18 years of age to consent to or permit female genital mutilation of that female person for non-medical purposes or for a person to remove the female person from the state for such a procedure. Under the provisions of the bill, it is not a defense that the female person or the parent, guardian, or person who has an immediate custody of the female person consented to the procedure, but it is a defense that the procedure was done for medical purposes. And we have people like, in the ACLU, we have uh, uh, Omashri... Amara, Amarazingham uh, saying that, uh, oh, well, the risk of mutilation isn't worth expanding Maine's criminal code. Uh, the Maine Coalition Against Sexual Assault also supported the ACLU, arguing that a female genital mutilation is not happening in Maine. Wow, really? That's, that's, that's news to me. Um... And it kind of makes me think about this. Um, as I was looking for stories about this, trying to confirm whether this was really true or not, I ran into this article. Well, ACLU sues Catholic hospital, hospital for refusing to perform transgender surgery. So I'm guessing that the, the, the ACLU has some weird issues around uh, the human body. I, I don't really quite understand it, but they also seem to at this point, defend some of the worst practices that come from fucked up religious beliefs out there. You know, I just, I, I'm very disappointed in the ACLU. Um, here is her Twitter page. And uh, here is her little profile on the ACLU. Now, granted, we should probably be concerned with the main coalition against sexual assault as well. Um, that's one thing I did not look into. I mainly looked into uh, Amshri. So, but this is very disappointing. This is, this is, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I mean, for so long I've been trying to speak against those who say that, oh, uh, Sharia law is coming, and all that, and I, I just, you know, say, well, that's ridiculous. But when I see shit like this, it just kind of makes me wonder. I'm not saying Sharia law is coming, but when organizations that are supposed to revolve around uh, American civil liberties, uh, when the ACLU starts acting like the ARLU, you know, the American Religious Liberties Union in instead, you know, you just kind of, you've got to wonder. And it's not even the religious liberties of, as you see here, it's not the religious liberties of Christians. I guess they find the religious liberties of Muslims to be more important, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't think they should be defending religious liberties in that regard at all, really. But, you know, I, I guess... I guess we can, you know, support Islam <laughs> or something. Um, look, I am anti-Islam. I'm not anti-Muslim, but I am anti-Islam. I'm anti-Muslims being able to do horrible things in the name of their religion in this country. And I think we should do everything we can to stop uh, religious people from... Uh, abusing other people's rights with their beliefs. 
Um, you know, but I, I, I guess I'm just kind of speechless at this at this point. So, uh, 